Hey everyone, my name is Pierre and I am the Managing Director of Fresh Property. We are a central Bangkok agency and we have been going for over four years now. So today in this video, we will be discussing whether foreigners can buy property in Thailand. So there's this big misconception that somehow buying property in the kingdom is complicated. To be very honest, it's actually very straightforward and easy to understand. There are three rules to bear in mind. The first rule is that foreigners cannot own land directly in Thailand. The second rule is that foreigners can, however, own a building or a structure located on a plot of land. And for the final rule, foreigners can own condominium freehold titles. Let's start off with condominium freehold titles, uh, commonly referred to as condos. So the most direct way for a foreigner to own property in Thailand is to buy a condo. What a condo is, is simply in 1979, there was the Condominium Act that was enacted. And what that created was what I would refer to as a share of freehold. So what a condo unit is, is basically a proportional ownership in the common areas and in the co-owner association. So a condo unit owner will own a share in the building, in the land, and in the co-owner association, so the juristic office. It is important to know that in condos, there is a quota system. So there is a Thai quota, which is a rule whereby Thais need to own 51% of the building and foreigners can only own up to 49% of the condo. So in a condo with 100 units, foreigners could only buy up to 49 units in that building. Going on to landed property, Obviously, landed property, villas, townhouses, shop houses has its own unique appeal. It is nice to know that you own the land under your feet. So for years, foreigners have circumvented the Thai real estate laws. At present, the most direct way to control land is through leasehold. So the Thai real estate laws allow for 30 year leases at present. But obviously there's ways around this. The first and most direct way is to buy through a Thai spouse or a Thai partner. Obviously there's a certain element of trust involved if you go down that route. The second thing that comes up a lot is long leases of 90 years. And this is very common in coastal areas like Pattaya, like Phuket. And what happens is that the developer of villas or townhouses, what they do is they sign a contract with their buyer whereby they automatically agree to leasehold renewal. So basically it's 30 year lease, renewal 30 year lease, renewal 30 year lease, giving a total of 90 year leasehold. The final way is simply to start a Thai company that requires you to incorporate the company and then that requires you to file your taxes at the end of every financial year. So it is a bit more of a complicated process. It is important to know that it needs to be a Thai company. So what happens is that when it comes to ownership, 51% of that company needs to be owned by Thai shareholders. So there is that complication. So on that note, in terms of suggestions as an investor, as a potential home buyer for foreign nationals, it is important that you consider all these things in mind. When it comes to landed property, there is this complication that most of the ways you can use to acquire landed property sits in the gray area of Thai law. So it is technically frowned upon by the Thai legal system. And what tends to happen is the Thai government does tend to change the laws quite fast and you might get caught out. So we tend to suggest that buyers and investors generally look at specifically condominiums because they tend to be easier to sell. It's a more liquid market and they tend to be easier to rent out. So it makes more sense as uh, an investment. 
So we've covered so much legal info in this video. So don't worry, I will include all the information in the description box below. Also, if you are looking to buy in Bangkok, please think of us, Fresh Property. We would love to help you out. And finally, 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 please subscribe to the channel. We have lots of real estate videos about investment, about rentals, about neighborhoods, which you might find interesting. Thank you very much.